You ain't running no drugs. So what the fuck are you being daft for? And yo, if you see anyone serving up, it was. Boy. So what the fuck are you being daft for? If he sees anyone serving up, it will snitch on them. It's Wimbledon, because we all know that you will grass court. Look, I'll oh, chat to Jakes. Listen. Hey, welcome back to Don't Flop Training Days. We're about to get into another battle. Make sure you subscribe to the main Don't Flop channel and Don't Flop Extra as well. Make sure you log on to the Viewpoint Forum and leave all your opinions on this battle and all the other battles we uploaded this week, last week, next week, whatever. All right, let's get into the, uh, the battle number five of the day. On my right-hand side, we have Lex. Make some noise. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. On my left-hand side, we have Ambi. Make some noise. Let's go, Ambi. One off camera, he wanted Lex to go first. We have uh, three judges on the panel as well. All the battles being judged today so far, which is great. It's uh, round number one on my man Lex. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, so get ready to see a whole new side to Ambi. Ambi 2.0. A side that will stab you to death. Drag your corpse to an abandoned warehouse and burn what remains of your flesh. Destroy all evidence and retrace all his steps. He's an animal, a psychopath, a thug, and he reps. Now, I genuinely like the guy. But there's a line between love and respect. I recently watched my brother fighting for breath. Switched off his life support because there weren't nothing left. He should have been at my tryout, stamping and thumping his chest. I lost what remained of myself when he went. And to this one question, I was led. Would you really be comfortable holding that blade standing over the dead? This is something that keeps me up night after night when I'm laying in bed. If the opportunity arose to stand in front of the three guys that beat him with bats and clubs and jumped on his head so I could get what I see fit as justice, then fuck it, yes. My friends told me, calm the fuck down, Lex. I told them, fuck that, I'm treating this as a counselling sesh. So Dr. Am, what do you suggest? I can't sleep at night. Naturally, I can't seem to rest. I've tried smoking bag after bag of that zest in hopes I'll pass out, get six hours kip and wake up at least slightly fresh. But I'm tossing and turning. I'm shivering one minute, then I'll start to sweat. I feel hatred and resentment. That leads to regret. Dark thoughts running through my mind that I can't seem to suppress. Am I safe in my own home? Will they come get me next? You're capable of ripping someone's spine out their neck. School fucking eyes during sex till their eyelids have stretched. I'm asking you, because you know the ins and outs of the most violent of steps, or do you just rap and type all your threats? Well done for doing a whole roundabout shit that I can't handle and fucking safe using your dead brother as an angle. Look, I owe you all an apology. See, my last three battles, I've just been some fucking average bloke. So fuck being ambi for a minute. You should have all called me average joke. I've been trying to do shit I thought you all wanted to see, but by doing that, I left the real man at home. So fuck being someone I'm not. Either I stand alone or Ambi won't. And now I think i found that antidote. And ever since, I've been scripting savage pros like Edgar Allan Poe and got that appetite for destruction back. That's Axl Rose. But this time, I'm living Harry's code and slashing throats like Al Capone. See, I've got that basic instinct to expose these pussies, Sharon Stone. <laughs> Let's talk about this cunt. Cause you're like the pantyos and camel toe on Amber Rose. You're a stuck up cunt. And I don't know why, because you don't even fit in this scene. It's like watching Gary Rhodes trying to cook a fancy roast on a camping stove or me doing fashion shows for Italian Vogue. That don't you know. So fuck all that forced arrogance and ego. You should really curb it, man, because they offered me Young and Fusion first, then they offered me you. That's the levels you're working at. <laughs> We're shit. <laughs> This is literally bottom of the barrel stuff. <laughs> Did you really think this crowd would go nuts when they said it's round one, when on the fly they announced this cunt before they announced us? <laughs> Recently, someone asked what rookies would be good at challenging vets. You suggested me and you as a class would make sense. Which one of us has the fucking status of vet? <laughs> Bruv, when this battle was confirmed,
confirm, I instantly got a fucking message from Lex. It said, Ambi, this is going to be the best. I ain't even going to call you fat. This is going to be angles that haven't been addressed. <laughs> fucking hell, mate. If you get that excited about two men stood in the back of a pub calling each other a cunt, you must be manically depressed. <laughs> This battle was never going to be that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this battle was never going to be that exciting. I would have rather battled one for two. And you don't like him! <laughs> Yo, so this morning I pulled back the duvet, black one, jumped out of bed into the shower, I linked up black one, dried off with a towel, black one, sprayed my pits for right guard, black one. <laughs> Fresh crepe slipped on black one, snack tracksuit, all black one, opened a can of Pepsi Max. That's the black one. Yeah. I rolled to the cash machine to check my bank funds, then bought a refund return ticket to Camden with a permanent marker glued to my palm. Black one. Do you feel uncomfortable yet? Because I know that you don't like black, bruv. Race. Let's get into it. Race. Let's get into it. Race. Come on. Let's get into it. When you were penning for Soul Jitsu and you looked at what you writ, I'm curious to know what was going through your mind. What the fuck did you think? This is gonna pop. Crowd reaction's gonna be big. A bald headed EDO looking Britain first page like a fat cut, running about the pigment of skin, something he's clearly not comfortable in, as a good 60% of his is covered in ink. <laughs> When my friends found out I had you, they said, do your research. I replied, I'm on it. I typed Ambi into Google. It's a skin fade product. How ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Ambi in Portuguese, Spanish and Polish also means on both sides. For example, he booked a seat on the Isle of the Plain. <laughs> He ordered two starters to go with his mane and place them on both sides. sides. <laughs> There's nothing about the name Ambi remotely gay, but he's on, on both sides. sides. <laughs> Can I get an on both sides from the left of me? On, on both sides. sides. And an on both sides from the right? On, on both sides. sides. To conclude, that's how you get crowd participation on, on both, both sides. sides. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Ambi. That was a sick round. <laughs> but the part that I'm hating is you just said pacification. <laughs> Don't believe any of that. Because Lex is a fake. I mean, I listen to your music. You've been making tunes about how you sell MDMA. Gay. <laughs> If you were really moving weight and wanted to tell all your mates, YouTube probably isn't that place. <laughs> but you, mate, raps about drugs and girls. Even talked about how your running strap. Funny that, because didn't you run away from your hometown when people wanted their money back? Oh. Why? <laughs> so this battle's kind of like Bully Beatdown. Do you remember that show on MTV One? It's because you act like you're bringing that mayhem, but you're only ever faking the punch. See, every, you've run away every time your life has got tense. You keep ducking your head underwater so much we should call you Loch Ness. So you've been fronting that soldier and you keep pumping your chest, but you only ever talk in that street fly for a show like Ross Kemp. Mm. See, every time you run that big mouth, you bitch out. I bet you literally shit now if someone told you sit down or get sit down. How are you still proud? How the fuck do you rep a brand called Don't Be Catching No Feelings? And keep my name out your mouth or you'll be catching a beating. Oh. See, I'm, oh. see, I'm clips <laughs> Hey, 
So how are you gonna rep a brand called Don't Be Catching No Feelings? And keep my name out your mouth or you'll be catching a beating. You see, I'm Klitschko with it. You'll get that Vladimir treatment. Three in his back, one in his front. That's, That's passenger seating. <laughs> See, look, listen, I know I ain't the greatest yet, but from this point forward, I'm gonna make them sweat. See, I'm gonna take your set or take your head. You're just a pawn to this king like a game of chess. Mm. So, whoever told you this was a good battle, bad advice. You should have run from this too. You've had ample time. See, I can handle mine. I came to cut to your call out when an apple slice, because Ann be sweet with it like apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Still my boat. Watch your Let's go. Let's go. I know why you want to stand in front of a man with a track record like mine. I mean, after I beat Crafty, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone and cemented himself a fucking seventh birthday place. After I won that hood classic with JB, he went and battled Frankie Fraze. After I shared my views with Koj, <laughs> he's gone and cemented his name in a title race. So what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna now fuck yourself. <laughs> Yo, uh, final round, let's go. Bro. Listen, Stuart, <laughs> you take this way too fucking seriously, mate. It's battle rap. Not a uni degree in English. Why do I need to come with multis and syllables? I'm dyslexic, can't concentrate that hard. It just sounds like you talk in riddles. So reference novels that I haven't read, horror films that I haven't seen, and all that dribble. I'm part of that 2015 filler crop. Watch me get the crowd going off something oh so simple. Cause your pain game means fuck all when you deliver. Like that kid in the wheelchair. <laughs> from Malcolm in the But on a serious note, I bet it didn't occur to you that I was going to come like this. Because it's not obvious at all that I'm sick and tired of the same shitty life I live. Everyone I know is chasing different things. Money, drugs, pussy, not me. Night after night I give. Line after line I sink into the paper. The ink flows from the finite tip. Each word turned into gold as I write my script. I'm hungry. My heart and mind is dish. You're damn right I'm sick. Line up the next one. I don't care who it is. I'll silence him. Any hooded up violent kid or jumped up narcissistic self-righteous prick. You know what? I'm gonna buy this guy a pint after this, cause on a real, he's one of the very few that have picked up the phone. I can count on one hand the amount of people that have supported me back at home. Your fingers type comments at a rate of knots. It'd mean a lot more if you stopped when you see me and said hello. Hours have turned into days. Time moves dead slow, so fuck anyone that's got some dumb, hating, trolling, negative bullshit to say. I had a tryout, lost my brother, buried him, had a second, and have been writing for him during the plea and court case. So I challenge, I challenge anyone to stand here and do what I've done today or at least have the bollocks to inbox me your address so I can come round and wrap that fucking keyboard of yours round your face. <laughs> Another round of aggressive filler. Yo, hold it down! <laughs> Another round of aggressive filler. That shit's getting tragic. And like we didn't care if you're fucking dyslexic, we didn't need any clarification, you're an absolute spastic. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, morals. In battle rap, they're not a necessity, mate. But I'd rather all these people watched as I fell on my blade than ever get the rep of a snake. But you clearly don't agree. Let me explain. See, fuck. On, Let bro. me explain. Come on, bro. See, when they, when they asked if, you know as well as I do, behind all this shit, I've been trying to support your family needs and so help repair that damage caused to your family tree. So if they ever asked if you wanted a fucking battle with me, you should have ran from the scene, not been amped to agree. That's the definition of a wolf in a flea suit. You must have had your fucking ears glued when your mother tried to teach you that it's a fucking bitch move to ever bite a hand that feeds you. Yeah. Seeing as you wanted this, 
Let's make sure we're fronting the truth. You should be ashamed as a man to make your wife sit there and watch your substance abuse. <laughs> See, I can imagine your dates with Anna, taking her out for a couple or two. You're still stuck at the bar, still trying to consume 32 shots, a couple of shrooms and a fucking nitrous balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I joke about it, but last year, your body actually shut down and you were close to death. You lay up on a hospital bed being told you only had a few moments left. Surely that would make any human being reassess the road ahead, not worry about when they're getting loaded next and seeing how much coke they can shove up their nose instead. You're a fuckhead, mate. If Anna leaves you, you're fucked because you're clearly the lonely type. Messaging me pointless shit on WhatsApp all of the time. I mean, a few weeks ago, tried to deny. You literally sent me a picture of a pizza like, Abby, Abby, look what I'm having for dinner tonight. <laughs> that shit's just embarrassing. Since when did I bear a comparison to the fucking Samaritans? <laughs> Listen, this isn't even an angle I've made up just to put myself in pole position. But Lex has so little friends, he's had to become so efficient at getting feedbacks for the flows he's written, he actually climbs up to the top of a multi-story car park and spits his bars over the wall to inmates at a local <laughs> prison. <laughs> Lex, you know it's pathetic? when you've got so little people fighting for the side that you're on that you've actually had to confide in a nonce. <laughs> this isn't even a new thing. He's been following this weird practice since he was nine. Somehow he's inadvertently battled Raptor three times. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not have one single friend? Your life must have been filled with fucking neglect. Always living life as some rank outsider. Every time you've got a mate, they've said, look, you're giving me so little space. It's like watching an embodiment of dialect and Adam Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Judging Ambi versus Lex, I gave it Ambi 3-0. Lex was still really good, but Ambi's been more direct. I felt that all of his punchlines from Lex was just one big punchline for each round. So one punchline first round, one punchline second round, one punchline third round. That was it. The apex of each round, but Ambi's really good. No, I sat there. Uh, I mean, I was giving it in 3-0 to Lex, but Ambi Jack, fucking, I'm saying right now, that's going to be battle of the day. I can't see any battle top of that right now, but like both of them have break up performances. I want them to get bigger battles next time, but uh, I've got to judge it, so I'm going to give it, see I pay right now, Jack. I'm going to give it to uh, 20 pound, bro. but no, nah, that seems too convenient now, but I did actually give it to Ambi. His performance was fucking insane, and the bars, the angles, perfect. I want, I want Ambi to get bigger, but next as well, both killed it. Think Alright, we are back here. Don't vlog training days. It is the October training days. We get to the end of 2015. It's been fucking crazy. That was a really fucking good battle. Make some noise for the MCs. Let's go. Yeah. Your missus ain't going through your texts. She's going through your photo album. Like, why has he got two of everything? Her man's a spin. The original picture. The original picture. And one where he's cropped out the fucking wife and kids. He got the living thing.